What's going on everybody? This is Keegan with Keegan Lanier Media, and today we're gonna to show you how to do anchor links inside of Divi. Link to them specifically from the navigation menu down to a section in your page. Super simple, super easy, let's get into it. So we're here in the back end of WordPress. Again, as we do with every video, we're gonna show you the setup with version 5.4.2 for WordPress, and then we're gonna go into Divi, show you the version of Divi we're working. And you can see here, we're looking at version 4.5. And this is July, 2020, you can see it on the video timestamp. This is what we're working with, current brand new bleeding edge version of Divi and WordPress here for the tutorial. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the theme builder. We've already kind of got a little bit built here and you can see we've got Divi Supreme installed. We've used it in another one of our videos, um, specifically when we're showing how to add icons into the nav bar, we'll link that video up here. And I wanna show you the, the plugin itself. It's Supreme Modules Lite, it's the free version of Divi Supreme. And it gives us the ability to add icons really super, super simple into the nav bar, but also in the visual builder, make it customizable, make it flexible, and we can do what we wanna do with it. So we're gonna go under Divi, into the theme builder, and we're gonna be messing around in the header. So let's let's go in the header, and there's a few things we're, we're going to do here. We're gonna do two, two different anchors, right? So one's gonna be a replacement for the scroll to top. And the other one's gonna be an anchor that drops you down into the section. We're gonna do that more in a page, uh, in the page side of things, but we'll open up the wireframe here because we're in the header and the builder now, and we're going to delete one of these and one of the icons that's over there on the right here, this is what we're using here. And we're going to the content, we'll go under this icon section, and what we wanna do is actually add this top and then a scroll to top option. And we can maybe call it back to top. And the, the key here is actually on this, we're gonna link directly to just this hash, like just the hashtag. We'll hit save. And then we're going to save this layout here and exit and go into a different section of the Visual Builder, specifically on the home page. Right, so we're gonna close this, we're gonna save this layout, and let's just test let's test this out. So we'll go back into the front end, we're gonna refresh our home page. And you're going to see over here with the options that we had, you saw the two icons or the two modules, those are gonna change. We've got this back to top option. So you see. As we scroll down, we don't have this as a fixed header. So we would need to put this as a fixed header, but you can see as we do this, it's gonna scroll right back into the top view, which is cool. So it doesn't matter where you are. Um, let's actually make this thing fixed real quick. I'll show you how to do that as well. That'll be great because once we scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, that link's gonna be up at the top. And it's gonna be an easy way to get back to the very tippy top of the page so we'll go under the section settings, under advanced and position, and we're gonna change it from relative to fixed. We're gonna put it right up at the top with no offset. Z index, we're gonna go all the way up to 500. That way it stays on top of the rest of our content. We'll hit save, and then we'll be able to exit and refresh the front end of our website, and we'll see this in action. Save here, just to be double safe. <laughs> and we'll refresh the front end of our site. So now we'll have a website where you can scroll where it wasn't fixed before. When this refreshes, we reload our page. Now we scroll, we've got that menu that just stays at, to, at the top, which is pretty cool, right? Simple, and then we'll hit back to top. It takes you right back all the way to the top of the page. Super quick, super, super easy to, to implement works well, and you could do this at the bottom as well. You know, if you wanted to put something in, in your, your footer, you could do that. Um, you could do it specifically on blog pages if you wanted to do that, have a section at the bottom where you had a back to top, um, and you could just have that to where when you click on it, it brings you back to the top. That one's easy, and that is a version of Anchors. But what we're gonna do here is tie this icon into, uh, into another section. So let's enable the Visual Builder. We're gonna open that up.
So we're looking at the Divi PR firm. This is just the landing page. And we've got a button here that you can see that we've already kind of started working with. So we're gonna open up this button section. If you looked at the bottom, um, what we're gonna do here is mess only with the link. So the item you're gonna click to jump to a different section, all you have to do is add in a link like this. In this case, it's, it's just a hashtag and then get started. So this links to a, an ID. So a, a section ID, a module ID, a, a row ID, a module ID, whatever. You put in that little hashtag and then give it a name. So we're gonna call it the get started section. Like say there was a contact form at the bottom of your page, could be the get started part of your site. That's what we're gonna link to. So we're just gonna call it get started. We're gonna link to that class we'll copy whatever we use here and we'll hit save. So then we'll come down and say, this is our get started section. This is where we want the page to drop down to, to where we can make this section visible. We'll open up the sections here and you go under advanced, under CSS IDs and classes, you wanna add that right here. So get started as the ID. It's amazing because when you hit save, We'll exit the builder and show you exactly what it does. So we're exiting out of the visual builder, going back into the front end. And it, this part right here just makes it very, very easy to jump down. So, you know, we've got our back to top that we set up here, set up here a minute ago. Now we hit get started. You can see down in the bottom left hand corner, the link shows up and it's got that forward slash in after our site and then hashtag get started. That links to the ID that we set for that section at the bottom. So when we click, it just jumps right down, brings this into, into view. And this can be, if you decide to do a one page site, you can create your menu and you could have uh, this as one section. So it could be hashtag about, that would be the link in the menu and say maybe this is the about section. So when you click here, it would drop down to here. The blog, let's say it took us down to here. Imagine this was a blog, this could be the next section. And then the contact could take you down to here. That's how people build one page sites inside a Divi extremely easily. But that's the perfect example. You know, we've, we set the link to the ID class or to the ID that we have on that section. And then you just put the ID inside of the section, make sure those two match. And that's all you've done is you've linked to a, a section of a page as opposed to another page or an external website. Very, very easy to do, super quick to set up, but extremely powerful in what you can accomplish. So we can go back to the top like that. So again, I, I super appreciate each one of you, the subscriber count. Um, clearly you guys are sharing this and clearly people are finding the channel and getting some value in it. The comments are starting to grow. The subscriber number is starting to grow, which is, which is cool, but not what this is all about. I'm all about bringing the value to you, teaching you some tricks, making Divi development a little bit easier, and hopefully giving you the skills that you need to take this and make this a side hustle or, or a full-time job to change your life. You know, if you can make enough money off of, off of website development, it's just going to make it to where you can have freedom of location, uh, you control of your schedule, time to spend with your family, time to spend with your friends, time to do the things that really bring you fulfillment and joy as a human being. That's what we're about here. That's what the channel's always been about. It's not about making money. It's not about growing subscribers and being YouTube famous. Could care less about that, to be completely truthful. Um, actually, would prefer not that kind of kept me from doing YouTube videos for a long time, but my drive to want to teach you and, and, and help keep people from making the same mistakes that I made along the way. I did a lot of trial and error. I, if I can give you a, a quicker trip, a quicker journey to a good end result, that's what I'm here for. So if you like that and that resonates with you, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. Stay in tune with the channel. Come back for the latest videos because it's always going to be our purpose here is to bring value. Leave comments below of things that you would like to see related to any of these videos, videos that you would like for their own topics, you know, things that, that are hurdles for you. Come over to Twitter, Keegan L Media, follow us, talk to us, tell us what you're doing with your websites. I want to check out your projects. So again, I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate you being here. It does mean the world to me. Go out there, uh, chase the dreams, chase the life that you really want. Stay safe, stay kind to the rest of the people around you. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Have an awesome one.